First and foremost, I would like to thank everyone for bearing with us and tuning in during this difficult time. But wow, who would have thought? Who would have thought that Bishop Harley's 60th Baccalaureate Mass and commencement ceremony would be virtual? Who would have thought that the graduation we've been working towards for the past four years would be through a device? If we knew that March 13th was our last day together, would we have done anything differently? Many people have grappled with such questions and have been left with no answers. The Bible states in Isaiah 55 verse 8, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. Similarly, Joseph, who was a private prisoner, did not think his time in prison would be the gateway for him to become the prime minister of Egypt. The Roman soldiers who crucified Jesus were unaware that because of him, they would have a gateway to heaven. The truth is, God has a greater plan for all of us. However, we have to go through trials and tribulations before we can see the benefits. Our class of 2020 is representative of the quote from Isaiah. It began in August of 2016 our freshman year. From struggling to open our lockers, entering the wrong classrooms, and to looking confused when our upperclassmen ran into the cafeteria to claim seats for the remainder of the school year. However, despite all the challenges, we made it through. Then came sophomore year. Classes became more challenging, and as a class, we developed the value of trust as we walked through dark hallways, hoping to make it to the right classroom on time during the many power outages. Next came our junior year. As our expectations were set at high standards to prepare us to carry on the mantle and accept the challenge of leading the school. Finally, senior year came along. We attended amazing retreats and won most spirited at pep rallies. Everything was going accordingly until the final quarter of our senior year was stripped away from us. Throughout the four years, everyone has lost something. Family members, friends, and even sometimes hope but as a community, we collectively lost the grand finale of a high school experience. I've come to believe that we were specifically chosen for this challenge because God knew that we could handle it, and we've come out victorious. He has never given a problem knowing that it's too much to handle. And as the saying goes, be careful what you wish for. From predicting snow days to wishing for longer weekends, I say that our wish came in a perfect package. As much as this predicament is unpleasant, it can also be seen as a blessing in disguise. The quarantine has allowed us to reconnect with family and friends. The remote learning has taught us discipline. And the stay-at-home order has given us the personal time we needed to make decisions that will guide us into the next chapter of our lives. As Mr. Winners repeatedly states, senior year is overrated. However, it is also very much deserved. We missed out on the last quarter of our senior year. During this time, we acknowledge the people who made us who we are today. To our parents, who have been by our side from day one. To our teachers, who share the profound knowledge with unceasing patience. To the lower classmen, who will keep the flame alive. To the staff, who made our four years go by smoothly. To everyone who has had an impact on our lives. On behalf of the class of 2020, I say thank you. We are extremely grateful for all you've contributed to our success. Additionally, as a class, we begin to identify our legacy. Who are we? And what will we be remembered for? This quarantine? This remote learning? We didn't need the last three months. We lost to figure it out because we spent the last three years developing and establishing it. Our legacy is our unity. I've never witnessed a more unified group of people such as the class of 2020. A case in point would be the quiz the group made by the class of 2020 where notes were shared for imminent assessments. This was part of our su support system this is part of our support system, and many of us owe our passing grades to this group. Additionally, as a class, we've lifted each other up in prayer. As a class, we've mourned over our losses, and as a class, we've cheered on our peers who competed at various levels. And as a class, we've found ourselves in what we're passionate about through retreats, class masses, and class discussions. Everything we've done has led to this moment right here. When we go from being Bush Farley students to alumni, nothing has changed. A bump in the road does not determine our destination. If this situation has done anything, it has taught us to cherish the time we've been given and to live in the moment. As we embark on this new chapter in our lives, let us not forget the memories we made together, the relationships we formed, the people whose hard work made us who we are today. 
I am proud to be part of this class, for I know the great things we are capable of. Our ways may not be God's ways, but he has always been our guide, and Harley has been our home. I could not have asked for a better year to graduate. Thank you, class of 2020.